Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we are going to take a look at the first two seasons of Disney Plus's original series, The Mandalorian. Being on the fence with recent Star Wars films not doing too well in advancing the brand forward, with the exception of Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, which happens to be my absolute favorite Star Wars film to date, the brand has come with extreme prejudice for not being Star Wars and being Star Wars too much. I finally took the plunge and got a free month of Disney Plus to test out the channel and of course binge watch The Mandalorian in a month. Being a huge Boba Fett fan due to his look, badass personality, and being a bounty hunter period always had a place in my heart even though my fascination with Star Wars wasn't the best. It took me literally two days to finish the series. The Mandalorian was produced by Lucasfilm and released by Disney Platform Distribution to be streamed on Disney Plus from 2019 and 2020 for seasons 1 and 2. The series is a space western live action series that surrounds itself with the main protagonist, the Mandalorian who goes by Mondo. The story is written fantastically as it delves into the Mandalorians, their home planet, their creed, and much more than ever thought in the Star Wars universe. The show places a huge emphasis on character development in Season 1 as Mondo meets new characters as he travels with Baby Yoda, who also steals a show on comedic scenes. I loved how each character that is introduced has a profound meaning to the character and throughout the season as Mondo needs to make hard decisions. Ultimately, what he chooses to do will follow him and have rewards or consequences later that make the viewer pay that much more attention to the storyline in each episode. The acting and pacing is some of the best I've ever seen in a series to date that keeps you glued and to keep you watching to see if it tops the previous episode. Although heavy in character development, especially in Season 1, it does take a backseat in Season 2 where I wish it happened more but we are rewarded with much more cinematic action. The action itself is movie quality through and through and never leaves you unsatisfied. There is more in season 2 than in season 1 due to plot and characters primarily being set in season 1. But I'm never going to argue with fantastic actions on screen. What they have done here is actually made a great sci-fi space western at its best. This show has a dark gritty tone but still gives you the good overcomes evil bit through the series. Mondo needs to do something and he's always caught helping others in the process. Doing so he creates friends, allies and enemies that just make the series stronger. This doesn't feel like a Star Wars branded show. Even if you took away the Star Wars brand and replaced all of it with different names, the show would still be a success as one of the best sci-fi series told to date. The Mandalorian gets a 9.0 out of 10 for its storytelling, pacing, action, character development, and well, its overall presentation. Add in Baby Yoda for comical purposes and you're golden. That's it for me on this look at The Mandalorian Season 1 and 2. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and gray. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. He didn't kill you. I did.